Yes, there we go. No. Well, I'm actually into a fish, amazingly. Let's get him out for a very quick look and then we'll return him back to the water. Hi folks and welcome back to the River Foss Fishing YouTube channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit differently. I'm going out trout fishing, but there's usually a couple of lures that I overlook very often, and these are two of the smaller lures. So today I'm going out micro lure fishing. We're gonna see if we can find some trout. The water is very colored up today, so I've actually got two micro lures that I barely ever use. One is like a holographic silver, the other is a hot color, you know, like the reds and yellows. Hopefully one of these will bring us a fish today. Let's get on with it. So these are the two lures that I'm going to be using today. I've already got the silvery one rigged up because that's obviously the most natural looking one. The waters are very coloured so I might switch over to the hot colour, the cockchafer, bright cockchafer, in a little bit if we don't get any bites on this silver one. I can't tell if something hit it or if that was a reed. I mean, obviously we got a reed, but I think there's a little bump just before that. Let's try that again. Yes, that was a perfect cast. I couldn't tell if that was weed or a fish. Let's try again. Oops, that was not a good cast. <laughs> that was a little better. Right, I'm going to cast a little bit further back down now. Oh, something hit it, something hit it. I missed it though. Damn it. No. Ah, damn it. Well, we got the lure back. Just check for s abrasion. No, leader seems seems good. fishing the silver micro lure for quite a while now so I'm gonna switch it out and try the orange see if that brings us anything let's just get this off uh, come on there we go oops right through here we go Oh, my thumbs are always too big to get these in. Yes, did it. Oh. Brill. Okay, close this up and we'll give this a crack. Well, this orange one is actually floating, which has the advantage of me being able to drift it down the river, and then when I'm ready, 
shut the bell arm off and retrieve so I can fish all under the snags. Get a bit of slack to get it under that snag there. Yeah. Well, I just had a reminder the hard way that banks after a lot of rain are very slippery. So take care when you're fishing. Anyway, that's the bottom limit. So I'm heading back up. I'm going to fish another couple of spots on my way back up, see if I can catch a fish. Well, the pool I'm about to fish is a little deeper, so I'm going to switch back to the silver one because it is actually a sinking lure, although because of the size of it, it's not a, like a quick sinking. It tends to fish at about half depth, i found. So, let's rig that guy up, and then we'll go and get in position and see if we can catch a trout from out under these trees. Something hit it, but only very briefly. Yes, there we go. That is a good trout. Big fish. Big, big fish. Whoa! I don't know why he's coming upstream. Where's the net? Where's the net? Where's the net? Where's the net? Ooh. Okay, we cannot lose this guy. In the net, yes, yes, in the net. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. God, we're gonna have to chill out after that. Big trout. Well, I'm just holding him in the margin a second before getting him out to have a look. We've already slung him on the scales and he goes 2.48 pounds exactly, which is absolutely brilliant. Even bigger than I thought it was. And you could probably tell I was getting a little bit excited there when I was playing him, but well, now he's in the net and I've had a little bit of a look at him anyway. It's even bigger than I thought. Right, let's get him out for a very quick look and then we'll return him back to the water. Oh, still really lively. Okay, we're gonna do this quickly and there it is an absolute brilliant trout and my personal best there amazing colors absolutely cracking fish Right, let's see if I can have a little flick out under these bushes down there. Yep. Oh, snagged on something. Well, I'm actually into a fish, amazingly. Feels like a good one, pulling hard. Difficult to tell if it's big or just in the current. Or a combination of both. Get the rod out, ready. 
yeah, when it gets in that main flow, it can just go. Coming up in a second. Oh, that is a nice one. Right, let's get this guy in the net. Yeah, there we go. Big trout, big, big trout. Amazing stuff, absolutely brilliant. Well, absolutely mega stuff. That trout 100% caught me unawares. I was just fishing away. I thought I was actually snagged initially. Pulled a little bit to try and get it free of the snag and then it just absolutely shot off. And I was like, ah, oh, a fish, all right, let's do this. Really nice trout, absolutely brilliant fish. Resting down in the net, so um, he's still very lively. So we'll have a quick look at him now. And there it is, absolutely brilliant fish. That's absolutely cracking trout. Second one of the day as well. We just had a quick weigh and this one came in at 193. So a little bit lighter than the first one we had, but another absolutely smashing trout. Any trout over about a pound is a good one in my book. So to get two in a day, ah, brilliant stuff. Absolutely mega. Well, there you go, trout number two and another really cracking fish. The water has actually started to change quite a bit. It's really started to colour up. And I know it has been raining on and off all day and raining quite a bit up in the hills. So I wonder whether that, all that wash is finally starting to make its way down. Because of that, I actually switched lures over to the brighter patterned lure, the cockchafer, and I was fishing it under some bushes and snags. And initially, I did think I was actually snagged, but obviously we had that really great trout on. I'm gonna do a little bit more fishing and see if we can get trout number three. Well, the rain started to get a little bit heavier, so I decided to jump in the car and get back home before it really set in. I obviously can't be too disappointed calling an early close to today's session, catching two absolutely enormous trout and fishing the micro lures, which are two lures that I don't fish very often, but I certainly will be in the future. If you've enjoyed today's video, please remember to do all the usual things like leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, please have a think about doing so so you can stay really up to date with future content as I release it. We're doing a bunch of fishing like this and there's also a few other different styles coming up very soon. So I just wanna thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.